So what I've also seen is some bass hanging out down here. I've seen some carp, I've seen some bass. Oh, there we go. There we are. Nice one. And he's got a follower with him. All right. Go ahead and bring this one up. Nice. So this one looks, this one looked like a female. A little thicker. Got right through the roof there. So cool, good hook set right through the roof of the mouth there. Hopefully I can get this out. Cool. Check her out. She looked like she got a little bit of eggs, but there's no damage, no damage at all to the tail. So it's hard to tell what, what state these uh, bass are in lately. And I'm, there's a couple of bass right here, big ones. I'm gonna just throw it right in. got the drop shot I got the weedless worm all work I want this to work I want this to work bad I just want to see real quick just real quick you know and before the wind gets too serious but look at all that slop it seems like this would be it it's been hot today like they would have moved up under this stuff. I don't know if it's too dark or too light or what. See, I should have been. Oh, I was right. That was it. And I moved it. Oh. Oh, I was right. Oh, I was right and I moved it. Oh, I moved it. Oh. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, oh my first frog fish, first frog fish, ho oh, ho, oh man, barely got it, but I got it, ah, oh, there we go, all right folks, there we go, first frog fish of the year, Get him back. Right in there. There we go. Goodness. All right. Do we got some spots in here? Not bad. The spot looks like he's been brutalized a little bit. Let's throw him back. What's up, Lunker Lee? So, getting that frog bite going. I'm hoping it can continue. I got that on my new frog setup. That's the 7.3 Pal Endurance mag heavy rod and my slx 
150 XG. Uh, excellent combination. I love throwing it around. It's got enough tip for me to work those frogs and a nice backbone. It was nothing for me to lean into that fish and get that fish over into the shore. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how that works and, and heavier cover. They got a lot of slop out there. So I did pull it through some slop. It did that really well, but I want to test this thing through and through, get out there and catch as many frog fish as possible. I'm glad I could bring that to you. I actually missed about, uh, about three or four trying to figure out the bite, whether they wanted it fast or slow. That one was a much slower bite, much slower than I'm used to, but glad I could get that, that fish on the bank for you. Going to bring you plenty more. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for the next one.